Tonight in Rewind, we celebrate the 40th anniversary of a classic film set in post-apocalyptic Australia. Mad Max added to the legend of the Ford Falcon. It also changed the lives of Mel Gibson, director George Miller, and an eccentric Frenchman now living in regional Queensland. It's been 40 years since Mad Max Rokitansky first floored his modified Ford Falcon XB, the Interceptor, through the wasteland. But for a 71-year-old French national who lives in the Sunshine Coast hinterland, it seems like yesterday. Bertrand Kadar's involvement in the film was by sheer chance. Totally uh, fortuitously. He moved to Australia from Paris in the 70s. While working in radio, the motorbike fanatic devised unique fibreglass motorcycle coatings. With, you know, fancy fairing and fancy seats and fancy this and Nobody in Australia bought them, but the distinctive European designs caught the eye of then novice film director George Miller. He thought they'd be perfect for police motorbikes in a dystopian Australia of the future. I got the deal because I was the only guy doing it. Bertram was soon on set dressing up borrowed Kawasaki's when Mr Miller asked a favour. He said, uh, would you like a part in the film? What? And I said, come on, you know, I speak with a French accent, Pepe Le Pew, you know. He was cast as Clunk, a former surgeon who suffered brain damage in a motorbike crash and never speaks. The film was shot for a modest $400,000. No one realised they were working on an Australian classic led by a genius who would later conquer Hollywood. After the first Mad Max, I never thought there'd be a second, let alone a fourth. The latest instalment, Mad Max Fury Road, had a budget of $150 million. The effects may be more spectacular, but they're loyal to the live action of the original. If it was a CG green screen movie, it would look fake. Demand for Bertrand's bike designs soared. Left my job and started a factory and it was just crazy. He's a regular at Mad Max festivals and was a guest of honour at the official four-decade anniversary celebration of Mad Max's film premiere in Victoria. He loves showing off prize memorabilia, including his tattered shooting script and a brake pad from the original Interceptor. Oh, mate, well, what can I say, you know? I'm proud of, as a French rooster, you know? Cocorico! <laughs> For a bloke who didn't have a speaking role, he was a bit of a chatterbox.